This hybrid has got to be a complete mess. Tom Ford's Oud Wood mixed with Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP. Can you even picture those two fragrances together? That cotton candy sweet mass appeal vibe and that dark oody sex bomb? How do those two even make any sense? Let's roll my motherfucking music because apparently Dua thinks that they do and we will see for ourselves. Listen, more than my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. They call this joint Casino Royal Night Bois Oud Edition. I mean, an entire paragraph. Shout out to Dua for sponsoring today's video, although I did select this particular fragrance. Uh, I like looking for unique and like questionable combinations when it comes to these hybrids and tribrids. Really, they're becoming my favorite because it's just that I have no idea what to expect factor that I'm looking for. Now, these two fragrances and selected them really just piqued my interest. I'm like, these are two fragrances that are complete polar opposites. They shouldn't even be on the same shelf. Why would you hybrid them? Now, I see that layering has become really popular lately and a lot of dudes is testing out waters on layering. I've never been a layering type person. Like I'm mad lazy. I, I just, that's just what it is. I feel that a fragrance is built to be worn by itself. That's what the whole process of it. You got your opening mid and base and that's, you know, that's your layering in the fragrance already, right? But there's a lot of dudes who make these wild concoctions on themselves that really separate themselves from everybody else and seems to work for them. Maybe at some point I'll try it out in a video and start concocting layering shit but right now, if these fuckers are gonna do it for me and hopefully make it work, then I'm open to trying out. So there's really nothing else to speak about this joint. Maybe I'll go over the notes and whatnot. Have I run out of, I'm running out of test strips. This is ridiculous. I had like 2000 test strips and I'm legit like down to 50. It's, it's wild. So we're gonna try this joint out. And again, Baccarat Rouge 540 mixed with Dom Ford Oud Wood. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Like I really, I hope I don't make the mistake of last time, I almost choked and died. All right, let's see what this joint can do. Well, that's weird. There's a little bit of a fart smell. There's a little bit like, like my ass just queefed a little bit. All right, it's not lasting, but it was, it was there. There's a very potent oud, like for a synthetic oud, there's some potency there that smells a little bit like asshole for about 10 seconds, like after I just ate rice and beans twice. Wow, it didn't last that long. It's more prominent Tom Ford Oud Wood than the Baccarat Rouge 540. The only element of Baccarat Rouge 540 that I'm getting on paper is sweetness, but it's all about a very strong, pungent, a little bit funky Oud on that opening and slight sweetness. It's not the best on paper. I'm gonna try it on skin. I just knew that combination wasn't gonna really work. Like it just didn't scream out to me something amazing, but let's see what it does on skin. It's not a big sillage cloud like the last fragrance, so that's definitely kind of a plus for me so I don't die but let's see if I still get that farty smell on my skin. Well, surprisingly, I don't. Surprisingly, but not surprisingly, it's actually quite different off the skin. It is a little bit confusing on the skin though. It's still oud wood prominent with sweetness. And I get the Baccarat Rouge 540 is struggling to come up a bit. That oud wood is a very dominating fragrance. It's very potent. That oud is just dunking on motherfuckers like Shaq. It's more of a Tom Ford oud wood and a slight, sweet, very minuscule cotton candy vibe that's really just lingering right under the base, kind of like rimming a butthole. It's not a bad fragrance, but it doesn't blow me out of the water. It's quite enjoyable on paper. It did have a farty smell on the opening on skin. It didn't do that, but I still can't get over that fartiness that I had on the, on the opening. Okay, so the more that it dries down, there's like a beautiful citric component coming up and it's kind of helping alleviate the harshness of that oud wood. But I'm yet to find any Baccarat Rouge coming up other than that slight cotton candy sweetness. And I mean, it's it's slight. All right, so the notes of the fragrance are listed as oud, Brazilian rosewood, cardamom, sandalwood, vanilla, Szechuan pepper, Grand Florium, saffron, bitter almond from Morocco, resin, cedar, musk, ambergris, vetiver, tonka bean, and amber. This is a fragrance that it absolutely has to dry down. Now in the whole process, it's been drying down for a little bit. It does get much better. 
but it's still Tom Ford Oud Wood prominent. It's okay, it's not amazing. I wish I had a little bit more of that Baccarat Rouge Essence for it to be a true hybrid. Just that overall Tom Ford Oud Wood potency is really hard to get that Baccarat Rouge to really shine. What tends to happen with some of these dual fragrances, they're usually bottled very quickly and don't have time to macerate. So usually if you put this joint in a fridge or a wine cooler or something in a real chill area and let it macerate for like a week or so, the performance tends to change up and the actual fragrance may switch up on you a little bit also. That's kind of a food for thought for people who aren't in that dual space. But for me, this one is a 5.5. It's not a bad fragrance. It got, it has a lot of oud wood qualities, but it doesn't have the Baccarat Rouge essence that I was particularly looking for. So unfortunately, this fragrance is not a ball spray. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. We got a couple more to go through, so I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. <laughs>